This is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite. Good evening. Today I bring you some horrifying news. As we all know, around 14 years ago, the self-proclaimed blessed regent of the Holy Russian Empire had died. And when it was revealed that he himself was Jewish, a people considered subhuman by the Burgundian system, his empire collapsed as it was clear that the Tsarevich was long dead, never to return. From the ruins of this terror, many new states emerged, one of these states being the Brotherhood of Cain, a satanic cult which has since its founding committed unspeakable acts, rivaled in their brutality only by the worst of the worst among the SS. The reason as to why the Brotherhood of Cain came to emergence is because their leader, Abaddon, had believed that if God allowed a Jew to destroy Russia, then the only chance for Russian salvation laid with his enemy, Lucifer. The Brotherhood of Cain grew to encompass the entirety of Western Russia after nine years. Meanwhile, the East was encompassed by the Russian Empire, led by a man claiming to be Tsarevich Alexei. Although not many believed his claim to the throne, he remained in power through terror and purging his enemies. Many believed this to be a final holy war for Russia as a five-year-long struggle began between the Satanic Brotherhood of Cain in the West and Orthodox Russian Empire in the East. However, it is with horror that I report to you that the last bastion of the Russian Empire has collapsed and that the Brotherhood of Cain has united Russia under the newly proclaimed Kingdom of the Hellborn. The United States President Ronald Reagan has announced that a black cloud has gathered above Russia and that if the satanic terror state would be permitted to continue its expansion, it would have devastating consequences for not only Christianity but humanity as a whole. The Fuhrer of the Greater German Reich, Helmut Gerhard Bormann, son of the late Fuhrer Martin Bormann, has stated in a speech that the Reich will not permit a mad menace on the borders of the Einheitspakt, and has apparently already authorized the restart of the long-forgotten era of terror bombings over Russian land which his father demanded an end to. A spokesperson of the Japanese emperor has also announced that the emperor is expressing worry for the Russian people and the people of all nations on the borders of the kingdom of the Hellborn. There is already a so-called satanic panic in America, especially with the new tabletop board game Dungeons and Dragons, which many claim to be a gateway to the devil as many have acted out dangerous acts from the game, taking the lives of children and teenagers. So Orthodox Christianity's loss against a satanic cult in Russia is sure to fuel fear in the eyes of many Catholics across the world. However, only time will tell Russia's future under this insane cult. Friday, March 7, 1986. Good night. This has been the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite.